when you think of NASA, you may think of mighty rockets, mm -hmm. rovers, even astronauts, of course, right? So what you may not realize is that NASA is the home to the largest group of Earth scientists in the world. Yeah, and with more than 25 satellites in orbit, NASA tracks critical changes all over the globe from air quality to extreme weather patterns. We are so excited here to celebrate our home planet on this Earth, on Earth Day. NASA head of Earth Applied Sciences, Lawrence Friedel. He is live from NASA Goodard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland. Lawrence, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much, and uh, happy early Earth Day to <laughs> <Yeah>. you. <laughs> Good to see you. So, Lawrence, this year marks the 53rd celebration of Earth Day, so can you share some of what we're learning about our planet? Sure, yeah. Well, first of all, you know, the planet that NASA studies the most is the one that's right under our feet. That, that's Earth. Uh, and so some of the things we're learning is the fact that everything's connected. When you look at the oceans, the land, the atmosphere, the vegetation, the ice caps, everything influences and affects one another. Um, we are also learning that, you know, the cause of the change is really human activity, but that there are definitely real signs of hope. When we look at over the last 30 years, especially since the very first Earth Day, we've seen a lot of improvement um, in air quality. Now, certainly there's air pollution is still an issue for people with asthma and other conditions, right. certainly lots of improvements, mm -hmm. but there's lots of improvements in air quality. I'm so happy to hear you say there's hope because when we mm -hmm. hear about, you know, greenhouse gases and climate change and global warming, it gets a little scary, right? Mm -hmm. And you kind of feel helpless. I don't know how to fix this. But recently, though, let's talk about tangible things and things that we've seen in the news lately. We've seen some really extraordinary weather like extreme snowfall in California, right? Um, bizarre weather patterns informing folks about what is changing in our world. How is that affecting your science and what do we need to know and can we do things at home to help better the planet? Yeah, so one of the big things we're noticing is that with climate change that uh, that these that the warmer temperatures are sort of driving more intense uh, and longer longer duration impacts on, on things. So certainly, you know, in your area of the country, when we, you know, the warmer waters mm -hmm. are going to be having a longer duration for hurricane season, as well as more intense uh, intense hurricanes. Uh, and so that's also going to be causing some flooding effects. So that's just things that we need to be taking into account. Um, people who are doing city planning mm -hmm. and other sorts of things just need to have that longer term time frame to be looking at what are the resilience efforts that we can mm -hmm. be doing. Yeah, definitely so. a big, big issue here in mm -hmm. South Florida. We've seen it firsthand. Not good. Lawrence, thank you so much for joining us and a happy early Earth Day. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Absolutely. And we appreciate the work that these NASA yeah. scientists do, Incredible. right? Yeah. To help protect this planet.